Okay, we're finally getting to the rehackable stuff. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the repush script. Since this is the first video using any of the scripts, I'm going to quickly show you how to clone the git repo. To do that, first of all, go to the rehackable github page, link is in the description. Then click on scripts. And then there's a green clone download button, click that. Copy the URL. And then in your shell, type git clone and then just paste your URL. Hit enter and this will clone the git repo. Of course you need to have git installed in order to do that. Next you can see the internet folder and you can see there's a folder host and inside this folder are the scripts. Now in order to use such a script, you would use dot slash to indicate the current directory and then the name of the script, like so, repush.sh for example. In order to do that, you need to be in that host directory. Because that's not very convenient, you can copy those scripts into a folder which is in your path variable. In order to check your path variable, just do an echo dot path. So all of those directories are in your path, meaning binaries inside this directory can be called as normal commands without specifying the path. So we can, for example, copy all of those scripts into use our local bin like that. Okay, now let's copy a document over to Remarkable. I have a random PDF here, and let's say I want to copy that onto the root folder, onto the um, yeah my files section of the Remarkable I have open here. So how do we do that? We use repush.sh. If you're using Wi-Fi like I'm doing right now, you have to specify the IP of the Remarkable with the dash R flag. So in my case, 192.168.178.32. And then you just specify the document that you want to upload. Hit enter. In my case, I don't need a password because I have an SSH key. And there we go. We can see we have now this tparchart.pdf on the Remarkable, and we can open that. And just to show you that that's the same document I have on the computer, well, you can see it here. Okay, that was easy. Now let's say we have a certain folder where we want to put this document into, so let's create one. So I just create a folder for Natix and I want to copy it inside this folder. How do we do that? Well, we have a dash O option, and with that, we can give the name of the folder with a slash before it. That's important, because otherwise the function looking for that folder won't work. So just type the name of the folder, like so. Now, if we push that to the remarkable, Xochitl will be restarted. And there we are, we can see there now is something in the Fanatics folder, and if we take a look at that, well, that's the PDF we uploaded. Now, let's say we have another folder inside that Fanatics folder, in my face, I call it IPA, and we want to upload it to that folder, no problem. We just take the previous command and add a slash IPA, and if we now take a look inside our Fanatics folder, inside our IPA folder, there's our PDF. Now for the next feature, make sure you have version 4 of repush. You can check that by running repush.h-v. What you also can do with this new version is you can push directories recursively. Let's have a look at my books CS library folder. And let's say I want to copy this whole CS library folder with the PDFs underneath inside my CS folder on the Markable. We can do that using repush. So repush. Uh, of course, we first of all should add the remote address. Okay, and now we just specify that folder. And as the output folder, we specify our CS folder. Don't forget the slash. You can see that repush is creating a directory for us on the remarkable which you can see as PDF right now, CSW.pdf. 
which will then become a directory once Xaxito is restarted. Okay, we're back. So let's have a look at our CS folder. We can see there's now a folder called CS library. And inside this folder are all our PDFs we uploaded. 